What's up my viewers, welcome back to the channel Welcome back to JN News channel with the news and reviews Local and international We bring you the latest updates from yard to abroad Just like, comment, share, subscribe Road to 20k subscribers, quick and fast Hit the subscribe button, turn on the post notification bell So you'll be updated whenever fresh news and reviews Update, 3 to 4 times daily House approves extension of Zozo. The House of Representatives has approved a 60-day extension of the Zone of Special Operation Zozo in seven communities across Jamaica. The areas are Denham Town in West Kingston, Norwood, Mount Salem, St. James, Greenwich Town, Parade Gardens and August Town in St. Andrew and Savlamar in Westmoreland. Resolution for the extension will remove by Minister of National Security, Dr. Horace Chang, during today's sittings at the Parliament, giving an update on the intervention being undertaken with the communities. He said the activists are at different stage of the Clearwood build strategy. Chang noted that Mount Salem and Denham Town will continue in the building phase, while the other communities will continue the old phase for this period of extension. The clear phase aim to move gangs from the communities. During the old phase, the strategy is to create an environment in which stats presence can be effectively re-established, thereby reducting the, the opportunity and the capacity for criminals to commit crime. The building phase of the Zozo is aimed at rinsing social and cultural factors that give rise to the crime and violence. Chang told Parliament that there has been an overall improvement in community safety and security. So far, there is a major reduction in all major violence in the spaces since the respective period of declaration. As of the 23rd of July 2022, there have been no shooting reported in Parade Gardens, Norwood, no knockings reported in Parade Gardens. He said the National Security Minister added that similar reduction of us were recorded in Mount Salem and Denham Town, Greenwich Town and August Town, Norwood and Savlamar. Come, mood to lively since the respective period of declaration as the july 23rd all seven communities recorded a 48 percent and 55 percent reduction in slapaways and shootings respectively chang said opposition leader mark golden said the people's national party was in support of the zozo extension we look forward to the amendment to the zozo legislation being brought here so we no longer have to go through this particular ritual every 60 days, which takes up a significant amount of house time. I think it is going to be replaced by a six-month cycle, which makes a lot more sense, Golden said. The opposition leader added that he is also anticipating the other amendments to the legislation that will hopefully make it more efficient tool in the resolution of areas where violence previously reigned. So viewers, right there so, you hear, say, the opposition are back, the SOE, the zone, the special zone of operation, them finally jump command board and are back them. So let us see where really I go go on. I don't know the whole politics thing go already. Today you hear this, tomorrow is a different thing. So let us see. Clang's gang trial, prosecution may closing address. 
The prosecution in the Clangsdon trial today charged that no evidence was led to establish the accuracy of the detention data that was submitted to the court from the Spanish Town Police Station and the Horizon Adult Remand Center. Data pertaining to the de detention and our release, four of the defendants were admitted in evidence after the prosecution and the defense agreed to accept the information as fact. The data which was requested by the defendant was used to establish that they had been in custody on dates when they were accused of being involved in shootings or were spotted by a prosecution witness. However, the Crown, in its closing argument today, submit that no evidence was led to establish the accuracy of the data. The prosecutor also point out that data was scattered across several books and in some instance the maker of the entries could not be identified. Lawyer for the defendant yesterday argued that it was impossible for their client to have committed those acts for which they are accused when the data show that they were in jail. In one of the instances, defendant Tyree James is accused of taking out a bus driver in November 15, 2017, but the data showed that he was in prison. But the prosecutor maintained that James committed that act while admitting that there was this frequency with the data of the incident as note in the indictment and the actual data of the alleged. According to the prosecutors, two cops had testified that the alleged incident occurred on November the 7th and that the scene was processed and the data. Interestingly, according to prison records, James was detained on that same date and was, or should I say, and has retained in custody since. The prosecution also asked Chief Justice Brian Sykes to reject the defendant's statement that they are law-abiding and productive members of society, are not gang members. It was argued that the judge should instead accept the evidence of their two ex-cronies who are the prosecution, two main witnesses, and sworn and sworn statement. The prosecutor also submitted that the defendant and sworn and sworn evidence should not be accepted as credible. He cited defendant Royal Taylor at whose workshop arrival and 10 rounds of ammunition were allegedly found and further asked the judge not to accept him as a witness of truth. According to testimony from the police witness, the evidence given by Taylor partner, the police had taken him into a shop and found the weapon after a search. However, Taylor is unsworn statement stated that the police had left him in his house when they went to the shop. But the Crown has asked the judge to accept that Taylor's character witness has corroborated the police version. Secret record, the prosecution in the meantime also argued the judge to accept the secret record conversation as relevant evidence. The prosecution argued that the judge in evolution the evidence must also accept that the witness was familiar with the defendant and had a close relationship with them and based on the familiarity was able to accurately identify their voice. The prosecutor also asked the judge to consider that some of the defendant had self identified on the records at the same time the prosecution also argued that the judge to bear in mind that the former top tier gangster who become a prosecution witness went to the police on his own violation and because of the information he provided the constable force was able to launch an extensive investigation the prosecutor said the witness provided the police with detail about the alleged gang in activities, the name of the alleged members as well as a voice recording. Additionally, the Crown asked the judge to accept 
its earlier argument made during no case submission, which was that it has presented significant evidence to provide beyond a reasonable ground that the defendant were a part of a criminal enterprise, committed shootings and arson. There was a whole heap of thing. A whole heap of thing in this case here. I tell you no my viewers it not stop right or so. Yeah man, it not stop right or so man. But anyway, you want to just continue if you like, share, comment and subscribe and turn on the post notification bell. So whenever you subscribe to the channel, you receive updates like these. Bless up.